Welcome to A Director's Take, the podcast that delves into the world of digital video communications, where video now generates far more online traffic than any other media. In today's episode, we'll discuss the power of inspiring others with your aspirations, your vision, if you will. You know, many people need someone special to follow. Social media is designed to empower that action. So the more visionary a person is, the more followers they attract in social media. But what kind of a vision or aspirations do people want to follow? Join me as I share the five strategies for sharing your aspirations as a visionary and how to combine your dreams with purposeful actions to transform the lives of your audience. Let's get started. Inspiring others with aspirations. That's our topic. I'm going to start out talking about Emily, who was an overzealous environmentalist. Uh, In fact, to say she was into environments and things that are related to it is really an understatement. Uh, She was really eager to share her passion. In fact, she ignited hope in those she talked with. She inspired many to address what they could do to make a difference just in their own life. And here's the unique thing. She did it all without being political. Her profile didn't state her desire for a cleaner planet. Instead, she did some interesting things. She painted a vivid, vivid picture of a future that she truly believed was possible. Sustainability and environmental stewardship were ingrained in society in this ideal vision that she had. Her approach wasn't corrective. When she was talking to people, she wasn't trying to correct them and make sure they understood that some of the things they were doing were bad. No, instead, she just humbly came forward as a flawed person sharing something near and dear to her heart. You see, her story started out with her childhood. She shared an innocent story from her childhood that really caught people's attention. As a kid, she had witnessed the devastating effects of pollution on her local community. Now, this audience of hers saw her predicament, they understood it, and they started to share her vision of what her purposeful, ideal cities would look like, being vibrant and officially green with renewable energy and so on. The goal for her was the humanity piece. She wasn't out there telling people what they're doing wrong and they had better fix it or we're all going to (laughs) die. No, She was talking about a harmonious relationship between humans and nature. She was talking about how clean energy could power every home. She was talking about something that, based on her terrible upbringing, would be a wonderful miracle and asked those that could hear her talk about it to join her in making that miracle possible. The audience in all of this really understood her why. The narrative captured her audience's hearts. It really helped them to understand why she grew up with the beliefs that she now held. Her non-political approach on top of it really caught the attention of people like me because I hate those people that think they have to go to the far extreme instead of just talking about the natural things that we all can do in our own areas. The whole approach really motivated her audience to take some kind of action in their life. Absolutely something that each person could do individually and they could feel empowered like they made a difference overall because they were doing something locally. As a result, she received a great wave of supporters cheering her on. And the whole reason was because she kind of became a visionary for everybody. She was so authentic, so relatable, 
and had a very specific vision that everyone paid attention. So you can do the same using your profile to try and get people to move into an area of hope. Share with them a little bit about what you see beyond the present. Envision whatever that future is filled with as far as the possibilities for your area of expertise. And then find a way to share those aspirations in an authentic way with clarity so that they can grab hold of it and understand. Let's put it this way. It's not like you're trying to teach them. It's not like you're trying to scold them. It's like you're trying to give the audience a gift of hope and inspiration. How can you provide them a gift of hope and inspiration? Now, by articulating our dreams in a visionary manner, we really invite others to join us on the journey and actively participate in making a positive change. Expressing our uh, aspirations in our profile then helps us to suggest to others how to combine our dreams with purposeful action to bring about some kind of transformative result. So as you're building your profile, you want to be thinking about it from the standpoint of that. How can I do these things to bring some kind of transformation to bear? Nelson Mandela, I believe, was the one that stated that action without vision is only passing time. Vision without action is merely daydreaming. But vision with action can change the world. So I'm going to give you five strategies so that you can actually implement these things. These are five strategies worth at least assessing so that you can communicate your aspirations and your dreams and your visions online in your profile. So are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. The first one, you have to write a compelling or craft at least a compelling narrative that you can share. If you're typing up your profile, you obviously have to write it. If you're sharing it verbally, you have to be able to tell it. Whichever format you take, you want to share your aspirations through storytelling. It has to be storytelling because that's what we remember, that's what we relate to, and that's how we connect emotionally. If you don't use storytelling, we can't connect emotionally, and you're really wasting your time. So paint a picture of the future that you envision using a story, emphasize the positive impact that it has on individuals, and then use it in a way that engages your audience's imagination and their emotions. In other words, don't describe every little detail so they have to see your version of it. Just describe enough that they can start painting their version of what it looks like. Because if they've been a part of that, if they've been engaged in the imagination with what you're telling them, they're going to be bonded to your goal. Then let the audience feel the transformative power of your vision. Allow them to play with it and see how it's going to fit in their life. That's going to make a huge difference in the bonding process. Number two, be authentic and transparent. I know I've, I've talked about this a lot in the last couple of weeks. Authenticity is critical here. Share your personal connection to whatever aspirations you have. People have to know the why behind your aspirations. If you explain the why, your vision is meaningful. You can explain the how your vision aligns as well to point out your values, but they have to have the why to understand why the whole drive is there to begin with. Remember that being authentic and transparent also inspires trust. So trust in itself creates a genuine connection with your audience as well. So they, you see how this is all almost going full circle here. By being authentic and by sharing the real vision, and doing it in a way that's emotional, they buy into you because they learn to trust you, which then builds their connection. And it just starts to be a cycle uh, that is a very healthy cycle to move us into a more hopeful future. Okay, next, you want to provide some kind of call to action in your profile. Now, it's not going to be pick up the phone and dial so, so, so. No, no. 
you, you want it to be one specific thing that needs to be done uh, to get them to act on this emotional thing that they've now been feeling. So maybe it's encourage others to join you in your journey itself and take a specific action on whatever it happens to be. Or you can suggest ways to volunteer or raise awareness or support uh, relevant initiatives. Maybe provide a clear step to actively participate in bringing your specific vision to life because you can't do it alone. And none of us can. None of us can accomplish our vision by ourselves. Whatever it be, make sure that is the one clear step and maybe that means they have to go to a website for a piece of information or give you a phone call or meet up with you, whatever it is. You have to decide that. Number four, you want to showcase progress and the impact it makes. Now, in the beginning of your vision, there's not going to be much <laughs> progress because it's in the beginning. But as you go, you'll want to update your profile to make sure that you're highlighting all the positive impact that this vision is starting to see in its journey. You know, it's not a switch that turns on and off. Oh, now our vision's met. Oh, it wasn't that. No, no, no. It's a slow, progressive journey. So you need to demonstrate tangible results along the way and update your profile from time to time with those things. Also, inspire hope and build credibility. There is a way to get people excited about everything, to be a participant, whether there's a version of whatever it is that they can do at home. For instance, right now, the reason I'm doing this episode is to make sure that you know how to share your aspirations in your profile. I'm trying to motivate you <laughs> to put it in your profile so people can really buy into who you are and where you're headed. So in demonstrating this in your profile, you want to find a way to help them to know where to head and how to go there as well. Basically, motivate others to believe in the possibility of change. That's a better way of saying it. Okay, and last, we want to foster collaboration in community. Emphasize the importance of collaboration in, in realizing your vision because Again, we cannot do anything alone. We want to encourage dialogue so you can get more input. We want to invite diverse perspectives so you can see things you, maybe you missed. I have one degree perspective in life. There's 360 degrees perspective just on this axis. <laughs> and then if we turn it this way, there's another 360. You, you get the idea. We need perspectives from lots of different people to know how to move forward. Also, create a sense of community around your aspirations. These people want to really connect because they feel bonded to your vision. Find a way to participate in it in some way, shape, or form. And, you know, involve them and foster them in some kind of a network or a community page or something where you can actually have two-way conversation. By generating a collective force, a team, if you will, that can drive meaningful change, you'll be able to really empower everybody to not only help you fulfill your vision, but you'll empower them to step up for their own vision. And maybe you can be of help to them there too. So the bottom line is you've got to update your profile and when updating your online profile, craft a compelling narrative, engage the imagination and emotions of your audience, share your personal connection to the vision so they understand your why, explain your why, and it will be more meaningful not only to you but them, and explain how it aligns with your values. This authenticity will create a genuine connection with your audience and inspire them to join you on your journey. Now, remember that each individual has the power to make a difference, and you need to remind them of that. Your online profile is a gateway to inspire others and to drive positive change. So embrace your unique vision, share it with 
an authentic and passionate drive and watch as hope spreads across a collective of people and brings action about all because your aspirations have been brought to life. Now together, let's shape our future. Let's fill it with possibilities. And the way we do that is by expressing our vision over and over again. And by the time you're getting tired of expressing your vision, that's just when people are starting to get it and understand it and hang on to it. I'm telling you, the power of visionary thinking and a shared commitment with other people to creating a better world is going to be rewarding to every single person. Isn't that what we want? We want our audience to have a better life because we took time to share our vision. Have a great day.